is going on dudes it is David and Tevin and we are back with another video now in this video guys we will be doing a prediction video for the Oklahoma Sooners the football team that, that I'm pretty sure has had the past two Heisman winners obviously Kyler Murray being last year's winner yeah last year's winner and then the year before it was um Baker Mayfield and they've had the last two first the last two picks the last two drafts, the first pick has been from the University of Oklahoma. Now, now they have Jalen Hurts, the guy from, the guy that used to play for the University of Alabama football team. And this season could be a very good season for Oklahoma because when it comes to their schedule, I don't really see anybody being them, but we'll have to see, you know, like, who I predict and who I think it can beat them or if they're going to go undefeated because... As you guys see by the thumbnail, I there was a possibility that he'd go undefeated, but let's see what, how my prediction goes. So, I have all 12 teams right here, and I'm going to go through each one and say why they're going to win, and if possible, why they're going to lose, because if you get more than, like, three losses in the college football, college football, um, college football season... Good luck making the national on the playoffs because three losses is gonna be pretty tough to overcome. So, the first game for the Oklahoma Sooners they play Houston, and that game will be at home. That's a win because Oklahoma definitely still has their defense. They have Jalen Hurts who's still there, even though they lost one of their top wide receivers and Marquise Brown. They're still gonna be good. Then they play South Dakota out at home. That's another win, so that's two and zero. Oh. For the first two games of the season. Then the next three games I have them all taking a win. At, against UCLA at UCLA. Texas Tech at home. And then Kansas away. Because. I don't really see any of those two. I don't really see any. I don't really see any of those teams beating Oklahoma. With Oklahoma being so good from last year. And as you guys can see, next to me the schedule is, so you guys can see every game they're playing, whether it's home and away, and let's continue from where I was. So I said UCLA, Texas Tech, and Kansas. UCLA away, Texas Tech at home, Kansas out away. So Texas Tech has had, the, the last two Heisman winners have been transfers from Texas Tech. Wait, no, no, not from Texas Tech, but... Who knows? Maybe there could be another transfer because a lot, a lot of people have transferred. Jalen Hurts transferred from the University of Alabama to the University of Oklahoma, so maybe he can win the Heisman winner. But I, do, I really doubt it. I think it's going to be the quarterback from Clemson that's going to win the Heisman this year. He's going to declare for the draft next year, and he's going to go number one overall to probably the Miami Dolphins. I'm sorry, Dolphins fans, but I think he's going to go straight there, even though you guys just got Josh Rosen. But let's continue. UCLA, I don't really see UCLA having having a good football team right now. To be honest, I think USC is the better football team as of right now. Texas Tech is an okay football team, but they're not really on the same level as the Oklahoma Sooners. And Kansas, I think, is a division game, or it's, it's almost a division. It's basically a division game. It's a conference game. And I think they will still get the win against Kansas. So moving on to what I think is going to be their toughest game of the season. They are going to be playing the Tex Texas Longhorns at home. Now a lot of people would have Oklahoma having the win against Texas because but we all know Texas versus Oklahoma is gonna be a very, very tough game for both teams. And in the end I know this is at home. I'm going to say the Oklahoma Sooners are going to get one loss this season, and it's going to be against Texas at home. I'm sorry, you, I'm sorry, Oklahoma fans, but I think Texas is going to get the better of you guys, just not by a lot. But I think it's going to be a very close game. But I think Texas is going to pull it in at the end and get the win. So, basically, after that, after you guys just heard me say I'm, I'm going to give Oklahoma only one loss. So that means they would finish against West Virginia. Kansas State, Iowa State, Baylor, TCU, and the rivalry game against Oklahoma State will all all win. So that means at the end of the season, I think besides besides Texas, the next big 
my big tough game they would have probably have to play. I would say it's probably going to be against West Virginia because West Virginia is a very good team. Teach, um, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, that's a rivalry game, but I don't really see Oklahoma State beating Oklahoma. TCU, Texas Christian University, not really. Baylor, possibly, but not really. Baylor has a pretty decent football um, college football team, but I don't really think they're going to have a chance of beating Oklahoma. And then the other two were just, get them out of here. Kansas State and Iowa State. Do you really think those two teams are going to pull off the shocker and beat Oklahoma? With this Oklahoma team being this good? I don't think so. So that means at the end of the college football 2019 season, their record would be 11-1. and And possibly they would miss out on the college football playoffs because of that one loss. Because Clemson... Alabama, I don't see losing a single, single game. So that means they would finish probably number three with one loss unless a team like, let's say, Ohio State goes undefeated, then they would finish number four. Or if another team, let's say, my Gators go undefeated or lose, have one better, you know, I finish better, have one loss, but they still get it, then Oklahoma would end up being knocked out in the college, being knocked out of the playoffs, but they would still get a bowl game, which they would probably go up a, go up against a team like, let's say, I don't even know who they go up against because it's, it's hard to predict, but they would probably win that bowl game and then begin, look, to 2020 um, with Jalen Hurts. Probably, I think he will still be there because I think he's going to play two seasons before he goes in the NFL draft. But other than that, I see the Oklahoma Sooners football team finishing 11-1, and winning um, the first five games of the season, then losing their sixth game of the season, and then winning the rest, the the next, of course, the next five. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please do smash the like button. But anyway, guys, I will see you guys all later. Peace.